Now, as every good scientist knows, we use a measuring cylinder to measure volumes, not a beaker, because the measuring cylinders are more precise. They're not the most precise measuring instrument, but they are a lot more precise than a beaker. So I've got a 50 milliliter measuring cylinder here, and you can see that because the volume tells you 50 milliliters, and the plus minus 0 0.5 milliliters tells you that this measuring cylinder is roughly plus or minus 0 0.5 milliliters out. So it's slightly, slightly imprecise by that volume. So how do we use a measuring cylinder to put the correct volume in? I've got some green water here, just so you can see the clarity of the water a little bit easier. And I'm going to use the 100 milliliter measuring cylinder to pour my volume in. Now let's say I want 60 milliliters. The best way to do this is to get down to eye level so that my eye is right level with the line for 60 milliliters. So now I'm going to pour gorgeous green. Now, as I approach 60, I'm going to slow down because what I want is the meniscus line to sit straight on the 60 line. The meniscus is where you see the water level in like a bent shape. So it's got like a little dip in it and you want the dip, the lowest part, to touch the 60 milliliter line. So let's see if I can do this. Almost. Almost. There we go. So I'll hold this up to the camera so you can see it, but you want the meniscus line just to sit on top of the 60 line there. As you can see from the diagram, the top of the volume of liquid is not a perfectly straight line. And this is because water is adhesive to the sides of the glass, which means it slightly creeps up around the edges. So to keep it, everything fair, what we do in science is measure the volume from the very bottom part of the curve. This curve is what we call the meniscus. And there you have it, right on the meniscus line for 60 milliliters.